Hey guys, Derek here from Fun with Linux. So this week we're going to be taking a look at my Linux desktop. Now, of course, we looked at the software, my desktop, and everything on it, but this time we're going to be talking about the hardware. So this is the CPU. Yes, I know I'm using the stock cooler. I've had this machine for about a year, built straight from scratch, and it's running the stock AMD CPU cooler because I plan on buying a new Corsair H80i V2 water cooler and putting it in there. And that's also the reason it's dusty. I'm just going to wait till I replace the part to clean it all out. But yes, the stock cooler runs a little bit warm, a little bit noisy, but it does do its job. And underneath this stock CPU cooler, I have an AMD Athlon 860K 4-core, and it averages at 3.7 gigahertz, and it can overclock to 4.2 to 4.3 gigahertz stably, and I do plan on doing that once I get my water cooler set up. Moving on, we've got my RAM sticks. I have four slots open. The motherboard can handle 32 gigabytes or 64, I haven't checked. But right now I'm running eight gigabytes. I haven't really needed more, but I do plan on upgrading to 12 or 16 for virtual machines and other things. And now for the graphics card. So I have an NVIDIA 750 Ti. It's a two gigabyte card. It clocks to about one gigahertz or so. I think like 1.2 gigahertz if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. It's a fairly good graphics card and it's gotten me through a lot. I do plan on getting a 1070 when those come out, saving up and get one of those, or maybe just settling for a 970 or 980, but definitely have to go with NVIDIA graphics cards on Linux. The graphic drivers, they're just unparalleled. AMD graphics drivers, though they might be a little bit more forgiving with uh, code and whatever, they just don't work as good and they're not as easy to install, and that's a big thing for me. On to the power supply. So I have a 750 watt bronze rated EVGA semi-modular power supply. Now I could have gone gold rated, but this one was a little bit more inexpensive. Semi-modular, again, price really, but it works really good. EVJ power supplies, I really, really do recommend. They make great quality stuff. It's never once got warm, and it's a pretty good part. I really like using it. You know, it definitely gets me through what I need to do. So now let's talk about the hard drive. So I have a Seagate Barracuda. It's a one terabyte drive. I love Seagate. Favorite hard drive company. It's a 7200 RPM drive. I've got Arch Linux on it. it. Takes up the majority of the hard drive. And I also have a Windows 10 installation because as much as I'd like to run Linux for everything, I can't. And uh, it's mainly for tutorial filming videos for my job and, uh, you know, occasionally games that don't run under Linux. But, uh... Yeah, it's a great hard drive. I also had a Western Digital, which I put in the server, which you guys saw in that one video. And uh, I plan on getting some SSDs too, so maybe that'll be a video in the future. And finally, to wrap up here, I'll just talk a little bit about my case. So I have a Thermaltake Versa H25 case. It's got a lot of fan slots. I have two fans that push air out of the top set up. And I have one on the front face that I can show you here right now. It's just to evacuate stuff from the hard drive, air and dust and everything. And uh, it can hold up to six fans, I think. Again, I know that my computer is dusty. I've been putting it off because I'm getting this water cooler. So once that's done, it'll be clean. So don't worry about my hardware. I do know how to take care of my stuff. It's just, you know, I like to put this kind of stuff off until I have a reason to do it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, just some filler for this week. I'm going to be buying some hardware and some stuff to do videos on for the next episode, but this week I just needed to put something out quick. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you next time.